so hello guys and welcome back so today we are dealing with another very good question from maths explorer speed papers and guys this question is a really short and sweet question like not short and sweet it's a short question for people who can very well approximate stuff like approximate i know what you mean approximation meaning there is sort of a chapter called approximations in higher mathematics you don't need those stuff but using that maybe this thing would be shortened but we are not going with all that we will find stuff precisely so this question is not really easy okay anyways let's proceed try out with this question once yourself if you can solve i will wait for a few seconds and then i will solve it okay guys so without further ado let's start solving so for any positive integer n let d as a function of n denote the number of points with integer coordinates x comma y that satisfy this inequality mod x plus mod y less than n okay so if they satisfy this inequality then like we have to find out the value of limit n tends to infinity d of n by n square okay so guys for actually solving this what i will be doing is i am fixing x okay so let's set k is equal to mod x k is a constant k is a value which belongs to 0 1 2 up till n minus 1 why because mod x plus mod y is less than n you can understand the shape sort of right mod x plus mod y less than n so actually it will not include n it will include till n minus 1 that's why i have taken k also like that so actually your inequality would become mod y is less than n minus k or rather i can say that your y will actually belong to the following values and these values will be minus n minus k minus 1 like notice how i am writing the values okay dot 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 till minus 1 0 1 and this will again go on till n minus k minus 1 now why this happens is because it's less than so we obviously can't include n minus k so n minus k minus 1 and again it's a mod y graph so it extends to both sides okay that's the reason y will lie in between these values so like the number of integers with mod x is equal to k is 1 when your k is equal to 0 and it is 2 when 1 is less than k is less than equal to n minus 1 so actually you would be a little confused here and let me clear the confusions so first thing is what would be the value here this value would be x equal to 0 and for this particular place because we have already set k is equal to mod x so for here this will only be valid when x is equal to k or when x is equal to minus k two values or two choices you can say right so right now if we like if i try to write the number of points with your mod x is equal to k okay then how do we write the expression for that then the expression for that thing would actually be number of choices for x multiplied by your number of choices for y right very like common sense like i hope you can understand this part i don't need to explain why so for your writing like this will be actually the formula of dn right number of points that is what we are supposed to find so counting the choices for x i hope choices for x will come out to be 2n minus 1 okay wait i will try to explain this to you in a better way like c first thing is for k equals to 0 case okay k equals to 0 case you will have a 2n minus 1 values why because 0 comma 1 0 comma 2 0 comma 3 all those values for like i wrote the set y here i hope you remember right the set y so all these values will come with 0 as the abscissa that is why there will be 2n minus 1 values if you count and very similarly 
नेक्स्ट इफ यू गो ऑन टू के इज इक्वल टू इट विल बी लाइक इफ यू ऑब्जर्व दिस इन इक्वालिटी फॉर मे बी आई विल राइट द इन इक्वालिटी ओनली वन लेस फॉर वन लेस दैन इक्वल टू के लेस दैन इक्वल टू एन माइनस वन फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर थिंग यू विल हैव फॉर ईच वैल्यू ऑफ के अ टोटल ऑफ टू टाइम्स एन माइनस के माइनस वन वैल्यूज ओके टोटल ऑफ I hope you could get an idea why I am saying this. Okay, so this is your expression, and guys, you might have a confusion. Where did this come from? So basically, the y values were going from zero, one, two. Uh, just take one side for the time being. Zero, one, two, up till your n minus k minus one. So from that, actually, this thing is coming, and I hope this part also you understood. so if you actually write down the expression for dn it will be the sum of these two right so 2n minus 1 is the total value it will not cause a problem at all but this will cause a problem because we have to sum this up for all values this is only for one value of k right so sigma k equals to 1 till n minus 1 and also this is for one side of y it was mod y so both positive and negative values included that means this will be two times of Two times n minus k minus one, and this one is subtracted by because if we actually double, then zero will be counted two times. So one time we subtract. Okay, that's why. So this will be the final expression for d n, and we if we like evaluate this, sum this up, two n minus one plus sigma k equals to one till n minus one, and this thing will be four n. Minus four k minus two. So this will be, I guess, two n minus one. And little bit of manipulation, guys. This will become n minus one into four n minus two because that is actually all like this. Sigma depends on k, right? So we take the four n minus two outside explicitly, and this thing will be minus four times sigma k equals to one to n minus one k. so if you actually evaluate this complete thing then your dn i am jumping a few steps okay just evaluate this particular thing this will come out to be 2n square minus 2n plus 1 okay and guys this part was a little fishy so i will once again explain this to you k equals to 0 had a total of 2n minus 1 values because that is not a problem right it's for one value 2n minus 1 values and from the above discussions and for one less than equal to k less than equal to n minus 1 the total number of values were two times n minus k minus 1 and we doubled it and subtracted 1 1 1 1 1 i am sorry like it is 1 1 okay we subtracted 1 1 from this bracket because 0 was getting added two times it has to be added only once and after that because this thing was already summed up no problem but this has to be summed up for values k equals to 1 till n minus 1 so we had to sum it up okay so guys i hope no more confusions left dn is ready so let's quickly find out limit n tends to infinity dn by n square so this will be 2 n square minus 2 n plus 1 by n square and very basically n in the denominators for these two terms so they are all gone so answer is Two, which is I guess option number. Wait, I will check the option number and tell. Okay, so our correct option for this question will be option number C. Okay. So guys, I hope this will be the end for today's video because this question, like, it was a really nice question. Okay. really nice question especially for this counting part this dn expression until and unless you write it your question is incomplete like you won't be able to do it okay so guys that will be the end for this video i hope you have liked this video if you have liked my channel do like share and subscribe anything doubts or anything else you might come in the comment section and also do join my telegram discussion chat for healthy and fruitful discussions on your preparation okay That's it for today guys and thanks for watching